Hello everyone. So in this session, Puritara Ratov will discuss about these graphs on cycle of hepatitis B. So anyone who contact hepatitis B has two fates. Either there is self-resolution in acute phase itself, or there is a conversion to chronic phase. So if any adult has got hepatitis B, then there is 90% chance of self-resolution in the acute phase while 10% chance of going into chronicity. While if a newborn has contacted hepatitis B, then there is 10% chance of self-resolution and 90% chance of going into a chronic phase. Now, let us discuss about these two graphs. One is of self-resolution and another one is of a chronic phase. So, first of all, as we know that if a person has got hepatitis B, then first, Antigen to get detected in blood is HBS AG, followed by that there is appearance of this anti HBC antibody. Okay, so we have both IgM anti HBC and total anti HBC positive in acute phase. But after some time, this IgM anti HBC decreases and there is only total anti HBC. Okay, also. Meanwhile, there is appearance of this HBE antigen and after appearance of anti-HB antibody, there is disappearance of HBE antigen. Okay. Now, since this is the graph of self-resolution, so HBSAG becomes negative and anti-HBS appears. Okay. So, anti-HBS is a protective antibody. If anti-HBS appears, it will kill all the HBV DNA and the person will become HBS AG negative. Okay, so anti-HBS appearance is the marker of resolution. So if anti-HBS appears, HBS AG will disappear. But there is this window period before the appearance of anti-HBS and after disappearance of HBS AG. This period is called window period. And in this period, the only blood parameter that will help us to detect that the patient is having HB or hepatitis B is this anti HBC. Okay, so anti HBC antibody is the marker in window period. Okay. So this graph represents resolution. So HBS AG appears, it disappears, there is appearance of anti HBS. Total and IgM anti HBC appears. I IgM disappears after some time leading to the disappearance of acute phase while total remains. And if any person has got this self-resolution of hepatitis B, still there is this anti-HBS positive for lifetime and total anti-HBC also positive for lifetime. So suppose a patient comes to anti-HBS is positive, total anti-HBC is positive and HBS H is negative. That means the patient has got hepatitis B at some point of time in his life and now there is self-resolution. Okay. If IgM anti HBC is positive, that means the patient is having acute phase of hepatitis B. The patient has recently contacted this HBS AG. Okay. Now this is another graph of which is showing that the patient is growing into chronicity. The patient is going into chronicity means anti HBS appear nahi hua kyunki anti HS, HBS jab appear ho jayega tab resolution ho jayega okay so there is this HBS AG positive and it keeps on remaining positive because anti HBS nahi aaya now anti HBC appears total anti HBC also appears but IgM one disappears after some time because IgM remains only for the acute phase while total keeps on remaining positive. So this is the diagram in which a person has gone into a chronicity. Okay. So these two diagrams are very, very important and has been asked multiple times in various examples. So try to understand them all the best. 